Old Navy's Saturday Steal is back with the season's biggest one-day deal. 50% off all jeans, plus kids' tees and girls' tanks and leggings for just $3. One day only this Saturday at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. Valid 8-5, excludes clearance jeans. $3 deal, select styles only. Welcome to No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. This is episode 824, and I'm spending 2017 on this show focusing in on interviewing. And today I'm doing one of those tough interview questions, a question that's, well, it's designed for you to be emotionally intelligent. And if you can't do that, we got to have you act a little bit. And it's by answering the question, have you ever laid someone off? Hope you found this helpful. I hope you find the show helpful, I should say. and Give it uh, a good review in whatever podcast service you listen to it on. And I haven't mentioned this in a long time, even though it appears in the show notes. Um, I've got a book that's available for Kindle called Diagnosing Your Job Search Problems. Now, it's 99 cents. It's not like I'm trying to get rich, but I have to charge something. And this is the minimum price on Amazon. And with it, I have bundled in no BS resume advice and survive a layoff like a pro. Two other books that I sell for Kindle, and they're all bundled together for 99 cents. So I I hope you wind up uh, purchasing the book. It will help you figure out what's not working for you. And now let's get going. This question comes out of, uh, let's see if you can see it. New York Times. Uh, It's an interview with Max Lefchin, uh, who is someone who, he was a a director with Yahoo, former CTO of PayPal. He started Slide, uh, and he also helped found Yelp, and now he's with another firm called The Firm, a CEO. And he asked the question. He says he has a question on interviews of senior professionals. I think this is a good question to be prepared for. Um, You'll understand when you hear the answer in particular. And the question starts off with, have you ever done a layoff? And what did you do? How did it feel? Now, he's not asking to find out whether you brought them into a conference room. You know, he's looking for signs of emotional maturity here. And, you know, especially for leadership, this is one of the key factors that you could possibly demonstrate on an interview. So you start off with, you know, sinking a little bit emotionally and go, you know, I've done them. And there's never an easy way to do it. Notice how I changed my voice from sounding enthusiastic to a, a little bit more serious and sounding a little softer. And, and you, you continue on by saying, you know, individually, I brought them into a room and spoke with them personally. And from there, you know, I tried to help them find another position. I did whatever I could to be of help to them. I had already reached out to a number of my contacts. And where possible, I just handed them a simple slip that said, call this person, they may have someone for you. Now, that's not you. Don't say it because, you know, the lie will, can get exposed. But you continue on by saying, but what I did afterwards was really hard. You know, as they were packing up, as they were saying their goodbyes, I helped them. And I helped them from the place, not of, you know, trying to get them the heck out of here fast, but to talk with them one-to-one as a human being. Uh, and be of assistance because there's no easy way to say goodbye to someone who has given their blood and guts to to an organization who has cared as much as some of these folks did uh, without being a human being and wanting to break down. So that's what I wound up doing. I hope I never have to do it again, but if I do, I have that experience and Ah, and then you have that big sigh that how difficult it was. So, again, they're not looking for the part where you burn them into a room, you know, as a group and say, ladies and gentlemen, you pe-. You know, it's nothing like that. You know, it's not like a union hall where you brought people in. It's about what happened afterwards. And as, as I spoke, I tried to emulate how I'd want you to feel and how you'd want to express it how difficult that was for 
for me just to say it. And I have laid people off before, so I kind of went back to that space, if you know what I mean. So try and connect with that part of yourself that did it, how hard it was. Uh, continue on by talking about how you helped them pack and talk to them individually and where appropriate. You gave them uh, phone numbers and names and email addresses of people to reach out to from your network. And that will demonstrate that you have compassion for your employees, that you care, uh, and you'll, you'll win that interview question. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to connect with me. First of all, if you're interested in one-to-one coaching from me, Email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us in the subject line. Put the word coaching. This way I know what it's about. I can get back in touch with you. We'll figure out a time to speak for an introductory conversation so that I learn what your needs are and you can figure out if I'm the right person to help you. Generally, I work with people at a manager level and above, but I do make exceptions from time to time. If you're not at that level and want advice from me, the best way is through JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. There I have curated information that I've developed and others have as well that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Again, you can ask me questions through the site. I'd be very happy to answer your questions. I look forward to helping you in either of those two ways. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love hearing from fans, from listeners who have been helped by the show. And like me on Facebook. The page is facebook.com forward slash nobscoachingadvice.com or look for Jeff Altman, the big game hunter there. Give me five stars, a great review. It helps other people discover the show. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care. A Napa guy knows more isn't always better. Unless we're talking about full-size vans. These beasts do more than get you from A to B. They have so much space a man can live in it. With shag carpeting, water bed, and a sweet lava lamp, these mobile abodes have all the comforts of home. With quality parts and plenty of Napa know-how, you can keep the original tiny house running longer, stronger. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how.